Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel and today we're back with Never Have I Ever Season 2 Reviews, Episode 3 and 4 today. Great episodes as always, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button, comment anything else you want to see on the channel, any other shows or movies that you want me to review. Spoilers of course, Season 1, entire review coming after Season 2 has dropped on the channel. So stay tuned for that in about a week or so. Thanks for watching as always and enjoy. So we're going to dive into episode three and my thoughts on that was simply this. It was a great episode, you know, from the fallout of episode two where Paxton obviously gets hit by a car and now has his hand or arm in a cast. He can no longer swim and he's having issues with obviously college credits as his grades are pretty poor. And ultimately he has to get assigned a tutor and obviously who else would it be but DV because DV is technically the smart and most gifted person in school in regards to grades and academics so you know they have to come together ultimately sort of tortures at the start of the episode which I thought you know was justifiable but it's sort of out of Paxton's <clears throat> arsenal he's not a nasty person he's not a bully he's not a dick he's a he's a um, he's popular he's liked he doesn't tend to go along with everyone, what they do. You know, he, he spread a bit of a poor name. It wasn't really a harsh name. And it was like crazy deep. I can't remember what the name is. But yeah, ultimately, um, his relationship gets better. You know, they become sort of friends by the end of the episode. He says he wants to start to being tutored rather than just letting her do the homework. He admits that he believes they never would have worked. And then being friends is just the best way forward. It obviously... <clears throat> gets Ben more um, annoyed and uh, aggravated as the episodes go on, as he has to just witness that she's all of a sudden just accepted the fact that Paxton is sort of the one person she wants to get on with. And also, I like how they always do the narrations. Like, it's, um, it's a famous golfer who does Devi's uh, narration, uh, you know, at the start of the episode, and every now and again through the episode where she talks about her life when she's not speaking. And... It was cool to see. I think it was a fashion model who does Paxton's voice over, which I think is really cool. I just like how they do it because Ben has his own. I think he had an episode in season one where someone spoke over his. And it's just really good. I like how Never Ever Ever is done. I may have missed a few things, but, you know, I'm blending it with episode four. Episode four, obviously, you know, continues the relationship between Paxton and Divi. Uh, over the two episodes, obviously, he gets to be in his history exam. He's becoming closer with his sister because his sister was losing, losing faith in the fact that he's poor at school. And to see him get a B was fantastic. <clears throat> uh, you see, obviously, a new Indian girl come to town who was replaced, uh, the girl with the frizz edge. She didn't appear in this episode for whatever reason. But obviously, uh, the two friends on the screen, you can still see DV and I can't remember her friend's name, welcome this Indian girl in because the Indian, uh, DV's mum wants someone else that's Indian around to be a good influence. And it ultimately, it does backfire in a way, you know, get her nose piercing, but it's, she sort of is able to calm the situation down and make a respectful decision on her part. I loved her character in it. I, I, again, the names are just fading away from me. Um, her cousin in the lab, with her boyfriend, I think is such a really cool couple and really nice. Um, there's just a lot to like about Never Have I Ever. The character's so likable. Paxton is the thing is for me. Paxton is the person who Divi should end up with because uh, Ben. I mean, Ben was ultimately talking to the new Indian girl, um, so that's putting us sideways. Um, Ben's just a complete arsehole. Um, and for him just to be acting nice and stuff just because Divi liked him, I thought was really fake and false. Paxton's always been a nice guy to her and genuine and he didn't care about her, you know, her status or anything, you know. he's Ben's always been a bit of a arsehole and bully. Paxton's been a genuine guy, so I hope she chooses Paxton by the end of season three or maybe this season, I don't know. But, um, yeah, a lot of good story between the, the three of them and obviously the, 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 the fake tattoo bit was such a curveball. You know, she got a nose pierced, he put this tattoo on his arm and uh, she thought it was really rubs it off and he just gets really pissed. So you see how distant them two are in comparison to how distant Devi and Paxton is. Paxton was easy, to, easy enough for, for forgiving Devi, even though he got ran over. So he should be the worst of the two of them. Ben's just an entitled prick who thinks everyone should just drop to his knees. I know Devi, what Devi did was wrong, but 
you know, she's apologized. She's proving that she's, she was in the wrong. She's not like she's asking for them to be best friends or to be going out again. But he's just being very hostile in the situation. And, you know, ultimately, he's just an asshole. Uh, I am looking forward to seeing where the rest of the series goes. With only six episodes left. We are at the halfway point now. So I'm very excited to see what happens with Paxton and Ben, the new Indian girl and Devi's cousin and whether that works out with her boyfriend now moving to LA, whether she gets on with her colleagues a bit more now she's sort of lied about her likes and whatnot to get out of work here and there, to be more accepted, to be going to their events and stuff. It ultimately, I would have rather have been at the, the, the lab, you know, they seem like a bunch of weirdos who want to attach onto her and it's going to cause more issues than anything because I believe she'll meet, I think there's, there's one guy who she really like smiled at when she first came in. I feel like she's going to have a bit of um, a romance with someone in that class and that'll clash with her boyfriend moving closer. So it's just going to cause more issues. So ultimately, his advice is sort of going to backfire on him because she will give in to the American boys. But uh, yeah, you know, very enjoyable series so far. Be sure to check it out for yourself. It's on Netflix. Both seasons are both out. So let me know what you think down below. Be sure to hit the subscribe and like button. Thanks for watching as always. Stay tuned for episode five and six dropping in a couple of days. See you in the next one. Goodbye.